Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an existing connection was forcibly closed by the remote host on your computer, and that it says that it might have been established with the server, but an error occurred during the pre-login handshake. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start by opening up the star menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now before we proceed in the registry, I would suggest that we create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, we could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. You just would left click on the File tab and then select Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range should be selected to All and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select File and then Import and then just navigate to the file location. So again, very straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So start by double clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Double click on that. Locate .NET Framework. Should be near the top of the list here because it starts with a dot. And double click on it. And there should be a V4.0 folder in here. So 4.0.3 and then it just has some other numbers after that. Might be a newer version since this video comes out that you guys might want to select here. But we're just going to go with the highest number version. And now on the right side, you want to locate something that says SCH use strong crypto. If you don't see a value in here, and it shouldn't take you very long to figure that out, we're going to go ahead and create one. So you want to just right click in a blank area on the right panel if you don't see one. Select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. You're going to type in SCH use strong crypto. So exactly how it appears on my screen, make sure the first letter of each word is capitalized. Hit enter to save that. And now you want to double click on it. Set the value data to 1, so just type the number 1. Select OK. Now we can close out of the registry editor. You will need to restart your computer for the change to take effect. And then attempt to connect to the remote host once again. And your issue should hopefully have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.